eating? Oh, a candy apple. This is pretty. It smells exactly like my way. Um, it's giving yellow. to a another vlog. I'm actually about to get ready to start one of my 101, my one on one classes. If you watched the previous vlog, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, so I'm trying to help other people get started on their YouTube journey and whatnot. And um, I've been doing these one on one classes. I did two for, uh, yesterday. Those are my first classes ever. And I'm actually get, gearing up right now to do another in five minutes, literally. I just want to pop in and welcome you guys to the vlog. Um, if you're new here, my name is Amber Sharnice. And on this channel, we are all about home, lifestyle, vlogs, you know, just me, just moi. So if you like what you see, definitely go ahead and binge watch the rest of my videos. If you like those videos, definitely go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And of course, since you are here, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment in the comment section below, letting me know how you like this video. And of course, follow me over on Instagram at Amber Charnice. Okay, I want to get my phone set up too, so therefore I can record my meeting, like little clips and stuff for Instagram. Hey, Sis. How you doing? I'm doing good. What point did you finally say, okay, I think I finally got it? Never. <laughs> <laughs> So I feel like once I finally get to a place where I, I feel like I'm about to fit. So I have my main channel that talks about that. And then I also have, I just finished my first class of the day. I'm so excited. Y'all, I've been feeling so good when I get off of these calls. Like, I really feel like I'm just making a difference. Making it, you know. Yeah, I knew that one was going to go really, really well because her energy from when we talked on Instagram was just like, hey. Like, I really, really, I frequent people who give good energy, okay? Energy is everything. Um, I'm trying to figure out where my family is because it's really, really quiet in here. There's one of them. Where are the children? Where are the children? They're too quiet. Babe is in there making the bed. Are y'all husbands like the clean freak of the house or the family or the neat freak of the family? Or is it just mine? Because look here. Not even fussing at me this morning about getting up watching dishes. I was like, excuse me, because I got this. <laughs> Mommy. Hello, I've been looking for you guys. Y'all some quiet. Yeah, let me go and create me some reels real quick before my next class. And then my next class is actually with my cousin there. So we really have been on here and food. Um, <laughs> but uh, I can't wait for that one too. Y'all excuse me. My husband had me do some kind of nasal thing to clear my nose. And what's really going on is like all my mucus from the back of my, my, my body is coming to the front now. Thanks a lot. Every time he suggests me to do something, I feel like I end up worse. Finally, you're perfectly fine until you did the nose strip thing. Yeah, and then you tore my nose up. And I can see like even later on down the line, cause you gotta think about it. When you are doing YouTube, most people is either you're getting on there for fun and you just posting, or you wanna get to a point where you're actually making money off of it. Right, so right, you wanna, mm-hmm. I can have fun doing, making the coins. Exactly. What's she eating? That's a lot. Huh? What's she eating? Huh? What's she eating? Huh? Oh, a candy apple. <laughs> 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 she eating candy apple. Yeah, that's what she eating. Oh, a candy apple. And this, I want you to get real specific with yourself when you just, you know, when you're coming up with these ideas. Let's go ahead and give a major shout out to Doris over on Amazon for sponsoring today's video and sending me these 100% human hair clip-in extensions. You guys, 
I absolutely love these. Okay, so what I love about Durez is when you first initially get the item, it gives you like a sample that you can look at with just two little two clip in tracks. And if you like them, then you're good to go. But if you don't like them, you can just turn the whole package back in and get the correct one. So you don't have to open the entire package if you find that you don't like what you received. So these are some highlighted extensions, you guys. I am going to list the color here on the screen. Look at these. So I got two um, sets of clip-ins because y'all know, you know, we got to have enough here, okay? But this is what the clip-in looks like. Uh, these are like a smaller clip-in. I, I have not had a clip-in this small before. Um, so that was really convenient knowing that it's not going to be big and bulky. And girl, look at this babe pattern, okay? I just threw the braids together real quick. I did it in like 20 minutes. <laughs> I was trying to hurry to get this hair clipped into my head. So this is just me installing the hair. You guys, I'm going to speed it up a little bit so that you don't have to be bored watching me this entire time putting this hair in my head. Um, but you guys, this hair is super duper soft. This color is not like, like literally like no other. The color job is amazing on this. And I really like that the hair is very full from root to the ends of the hair. And you guys already, I've gotten so many compliments. Um, I posted my, a picture on Instagram on my stories and people were loving it. My mom loves the color. My husband was like, ooh, I like that. I was like, ooh, okay. Doris came through to get your girl together. So I look really, really cute. So if you guys are interested in this hair, you can definitely check out the link in the description box below and grab yourself some. I personally like to use, I like full hair. So I use two packs. I do believe they have a pack that has more grams in it. And then they have one that has less. And you guys know that um, I'm trying to do more of my natural hair. You guys know I cut my hair to a pixie like a year and some change ago. And it's growing. But I do need to get my ends cut and all that stuff. But this is the final result. I 100% love, 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 love this look. Um, I'm going to experiment with like, you know, different styles and whatnot later on. But I absolutely love this look. Check them out. I'll leave them in the description box below. Happy Saturday. So pretty much right now, um, I'm about to get ready to, tr I'm going to try my best to get in here and film y'all. I need to film so bad. I'm so behind on posting on both my channels um but as far as what's going on for today my lips look real ashy because they need to be exfoliated exfoliated what mm -hmm. anywho but um <laughs> so it's like late afternoon um i've been cleaning all morning and then for the last couple hours i've been doing my hair as you see i can't stop touching it um <laughs> when we get our hair done y'all that's all we do is touch it it's touch it it's touch it <laughs> but um i don't know y'all i really really like clip-ins because they're just so easy to maintain as far as like taking them out putting them in and i can do it myself so that means i ain't got to pay nobody to do my hair um y'all know i love my wigs i do but when it's when the light, the lace gets old and you're tired of spraying it down or putting the band on the back and all the stuff like that, it just gets old, okay? And like I want my forehead to be to breathe, you know? So my forehead being out with my hair is it's cool. I like it. It's all right. Um, ain't got the smallest forehead, but hey, it's my forehead and it wants to be seen. Super the Sigma Genesis. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. Um. A reel. As a matter of fact, I need to film like seven reels. Um, probably eight because I need to have enough reels to last me for the entire week. I want to post every single day next week. Um, I just realized like when you post more on any of the platforms, it definitely helps um, with the views, with the engagement because I was posting on my Instagram uh, page very, very regularly and very, very frequently for a while and I definitely saw it increase. My lips are so strong. Hold on, hang on. I was supposed to go need some chapstick, but the me did I get a chapstick. I didn't know. Oh, there's a bigger baby right there. Uh-huh. Look at mommy. You're so beautiful. Oh, 
Thank you, Bray Bray. a reel about a lot of people say that they have nothing to film including myself or what they're not doing anything that you know, they can vlog or whatnot so yeah I hear people say all the time like you know they don't do anything in every day your vlog will be boring because all they do is clean or whatever like that or cook or you know just daily stuff so what I decided to do was create a reel um, that kind of shows how you can spice it up a little bit or what you could use to make your vlog not so make your boring vlog vlog not so boring boring oh tip number one is put on some good music okay so find some good copyright free music that there are a lot of like mashups and stuff like that that people use on youtube all the time that are copyright free or they're not copyrighted at the time <laughs> so you can add some of that onto a video you can also shoot in angles and that's pretty much what this video is showing like me shooting in different angles you're not sitting there just watching me do this for like an extremely long time and then also the way that you edit use a little bit of slow motion use a little speed it up you know what i'm saying basically your timing so make sure that you have good timing good music and you've got some good angles within your b-roll so that's something that can help you it takes more time to do like your daily tasks if you're gonna be filming this way of course but also if you're trying to make a, a good intriguing vlog or whatever the content is um you know it works you know what i'm saying so just my little tip <clears throat> that i can share any little thing here and there that I can share, I try to share it, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I try to help the girls. Because the girls all over the world be trying to do the vlogging and stuff. And I, I hear a lot of people say all the time, including myself, um, I'm not doing anything, what I'm doing is boring, or, you know, they just didn't want to pick up the camera because they didn't feel like what they thought was doing was interesting, which it definitely does not have to be. I find myself watching a complete vlog all the way through, even if the person is not talking about, you know, something specific or something interesting just based on the way the person edited their vlog and the music that they have in the vlog so free game take it or leave it pretty brown eyes you know i see you and you can hide quit breaking my heart Breaking my heart. I'm trying to dry this. This is very difficult. Got me crying all inside. No. You're breaking mine. So tell me why it's 7.49 at night. It's 7.49. I get the urge to want to go to Home Goods. <laughs> and it made it so bad. I told my mom I'm about to go to Home Goods. And guess who wants to, wants to go to Home Goods with us? So now I gotta go to my mama <laughs> and come all the way back over here, which Home Goods is literally right around the corner from my house. So now I gotta go all the way to get my mama, come back all the way over here, and then go to Home Goods. Wow. Well. <laughs> uh, but first I gotta get some gas, so I guess I will. Which way do I wanna go? Holler at y'all. I wanna get some gas. That means, yeah, because I'll do just a straight shot this way. All right, y'all. So I'll see y'all when we get to Home Goods.
of things on, so. Okay. That looks pretty cool. 69. 89. Like that. This is really pretty. I like that. I'll put it up in the dresser. This is the designer. Bad. You guys coming to what's this? Home Goods on a random day worked out for me. Look, $29.99. Finally found some art to go over the dressers. Finally. It's been forever. And they're nice, a nice plain white color, nothing crazy. It does look a little dirty, so I'm gonna ask them. If they can discount me some more. But hey, it'll work. Y'all, look at this. Heck no. It's giving a no. God dang it. I don't know somebody had it and brought it back. If I, they just had it sitting in the back. And it got damaged, but... No, this is not gonna work. Dang it. I'm really mad about that. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Y'all, um, this mirror is so heavy and it's so pretty. Two point nine nine nine. I just want to show them this. That would have Look at these bar stools. That's in Home Goods. Super cute. Love it so much. How much is that? I don't know. I don't see a price. I see the table's price, but. They are, they're typically expensive though. <laughs> yeah, no, I think this one chair is 179. Oh. You been to um, TJ Maxx and Ross? I mean, that's more kiddish, but it's still not cute. <laughs> this is okay. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Look at this one. Huh? <laughs> Super cute. This is like the ones I have. And this is cute with the gold detail on it. 99 bucks. All right, y'all. So we're back. We made it back from the store. That was the longest home goods run of all times. <laughs> because we ended up doing a whole bunch more stuff after that. So, um... I did get a couple things from Marshalls. I got this tan Apple Watch band because I was tired of my little silver one that I had. So that's cute. I bought a brush because I need one. I just used it to brush my hair out. Looks good. Looks really good. Okay, cool. And then we got the birthday girl. Somebody is turning three tomorrow. <laughs> Say me, I'm turning three. Woo! Anywho. <laughs> so since so she's turning three tomorrow, we got her a little dress to wear to her party. She has like a unicorn corn. <laughs> a unicorn themed birthday party at like this little place or whatever. So she has a unicorn. Is this a unicorn? Yes, it's a black sister unicorn with black sister hair. Oh, my baby. And then it's purple and pink and all that cute stuff. And we got a pair of pink tights to go with. Ooh, that looks orange on the camera. This does not look the same thing because I looked at it in the store. It looks different. I don't know. Whatever. Anywho, got that. So she has something to wear for her party. Oh, this was my old band. See, I wanted something soft to go on my arm. And it was too big, so now it fits perfectly. Um, We also got her... Backup fit this little thing here, and y'all, this is the only thing that I picked up in freaking Home Goods. This is the Lavender Chamomile um, DW Home Room and Linen Spray. It smells really, really good. It was only $5.99. Spray it on my pillow so it doesn't hit the floor. Ooh. 
It smells super fresh. Oh my God. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it smells really, really good. I'm about to spray everything real quick. One hot second. Mmm. Mmm. Don't mind that one. I don't know what she's doing. <laughs> but it smells really good. Let me come in here and give y'all tea on what I just put together and it smells so good. Okay. So y'all know um, I live for Marc Jacobs Perfect. And I tell y'all that that is a really good layering set. Like I layer that with almost all my perfumes. Literally. If I, want, if I have a perfume, I love how it smells, but I want to kind of like amp it up or make it different, I literally grab Perfect and I put it with it and it smells amazing. So, um, a while, <clears throat> so I did get the Dossier version, the Dossier version um, of the Marc Jacobs Perfect. And you guys, this is called Floral Rhubarb. Rhubarb. This is what it looks like. Smells so good. It smells just like Marc Jacobs. I feel like this one has like a sweet, a sweeter note somewhere in here. It's just a tad bit sweeter than the original Perfect by Marc Jacobs, but it still smells exactly like it. Um, in my opinion, a little bit better. So, I also got a new package out there. Okay. And today I tried out, let's see, which one was it? It was this one, Fruity Neroli. Neroli, Neroli. So this is a dupe for um, Giorgio Armani My Way. You guys. First of all, it smells exactly like My Way. Um, it's giving yellow. <laughs> But yeah, I got another package since the last one, y'all. Like, Dusty did not play with me. They gonna send me these scents, okay? These two together. So if you have Marc Jacobs Perfect in your collection and you also have Georgia Armani's My Way in your collection, do yourself a favor and spray them all together. Oh my freaking goodness. I never knew it was the combo that I needed. I never knew this was the combo that I needed. Y'all, it smells so good. So if you don't know what the notes are in this My Way, it's the bergamot, neroli, blackcurrant, strawberry, jasmine, super rose, orange blossom, vanilla musk, and cedarwood. It smells so freaking good. I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, so that was one of my picks for just, yeah, Sorry. Let me tell y'all the other ones that I got. So what I've started doing is I start picking up um, scents for Babe as well. But I've started getting like three for me and then three for him. This one is called Floral Berries. This is a dupe for Joe Malone um, Puny Blush and Suede Cologne. I don't know if this was supposed to be for a man or for a woman. It's probably one of those unisex scents. But this one is very, very different. I like this. It has... It's red apple berries, rose, carnation, jasmine, suede accord, and musk. Like I said, this one's really, really different. I don't have anything that smells like this. It's like a soft, a soft flower. Yeah. A soft flower with... The, ja the jasmine is what I smell. Okay. So, y'all know that Japanese Blossom, this is like, kind of like that. Yeah, y'all know y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. The Japanese, the Japanese Blossom used to be like Family Dollar, Dollar General. Used to be everywhere, like all the little cheap dollar stores we was growing up and people was wearing. Um, that, that Jasmine Blossom. This is what this smells like, but it just smells so much prettier and softer. I really like this. This is very different. So, yeah, that smells really, really good. It's very different, though. It's not typically something that I would pick out had I smelled it before. 
but I really, really like it. And I feel like I will definitely start wearing that. I feel like that's like a around the house type of scent or let's go get breakfast. You know what I'm saying? It's really, really soft and it's really light. And it's like a sunshiny day. That's what it's giving me. This one is, I think this is for Babe. Um, Woody Coriander. Cause I got him three cents. So yes, this is Dolce & Gabbana, the one for men. This one smells really good, y'all. So that's what it looks like. I don't know why I'm showing y'all the bottles knowing that every single one of these bottles look exactly the same. The liquid color is different, but the bottles are exactly the same. Mmm, this smells good. This one has um, coriander, green apple, grapefruit, cardamom, orange blossom, basil, amberwood, tobacco, and cedarwood. Just based upon the notes that's in here, you would definitely think this is for a woman. But it's most definitely given a man. This is like a Mm, I don't know how to, what kind of what kind of guy I can describe with this. I can just see suit and tie type of guy. Definitely a suit and tie type of guy. That's what he smells like when he goes out. He grabs lunch. He has his um his his his, his earpiece on because he's making business calls. He pulls up his sports car with his nice suit on. He's going in to get his lunch. So ladies, if you're looking for a fragrance to purchase for your man. Um, the Dolce, the Dolce & Gabbana, one and only for men, um, by Dossier is called Woody Coriander. And then this one I think was my favorite. This is the Polo Blue, um, dupe and it's called Aromic Watermelon. Aromic, I, yeah, that's wrong. Aromatic Watermelon. <laughs> the notes in this one is bergamot, watermelon, cardamom, basil, clary, sage, oris, verbena, musk, vetiver, patchouli, and amberwood. Y'all, this sucker smells so good. Mmm, mmm. I've never, I don't think I've ever smelled Polo Blue before, so I, I couldn't compare and tell you exactly if it smells like it or not. Um, but I'm 100% sure that it does because all the dupes that I have that I've smelled, the originals, smell just like the original or if not better. But, mmm, this does smell really good. Oh. I can't wait to bathe. Where's this? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, Jesus. That one smells good. This one is inspired by Gucci Guilty. Y'all know everybody loves Gucci Guilty for a reason, okay? Oh, my God. You definitely smell that pepper. So, pink pepper, lemon, neroli, orange blossom, lavender, Geranium, amber, patchouli, and cedarwood are the notes in this thing. Oh my goodness. I wouldn't mind wearing this myself. I'm just going to be honest with you. It smells that good because it has like this pepper situation. It has a bit of sweetness, but it's also kind of like a bowl too. So if you smell Gucci Guilty, that's this is what it smells like. It's such a cheaper version, baby. Mm. I love that. I love that. So if you're looking for some options for your man, I'm going to leave them in this the description box below. And then this one I got, this is the Caramelized Lavender and Hazelnut. Now this one is a unisex scent and it's one of the Dossier Originals. So this is not one of like the inspired by fragrances. This is solely something that they created on their own. And I also say that I'm going to use this as a house spray. So the notes in this is salted caramelized hazelnut accord, lavender violet, orange flower, patchouli, vetiver, suede, and ambroxan. Um, and this is the genderless collection. Like I said, it's, it's, you know, anybody can use this unisex. But I'm going to tell you exactly what this smells like. This smells like the replica candle. I think it's called by no, it's is is it by the fireplace or marshmallow fireside, something like that. That's what this smells like. So I just honestly don't see myself using this on my body, but I 100% can see myself spraying this as like a room spray. So I'm gonna keep this one out because I want to make sure I put it up. This is definitely giving 
room spray. Major shout out to you all over there. Major shout out to you, Roxy, for always keeping your girl up to date with all the new fragrances. Always making sure that you don't forget your girl and you send me something. And I totally appreciate you. I'm going to put this one over on the mantle here on my fireplace so that way I can know that this is for the house. And I don't take it to my office. And then let me take these to Bates bathroom. And I'm gonna make sure I keep his cards and give them to him too. That way he knows which is a dupe for what. All right, y'all. Let me go show y'all this collection of dossier. <laughs> of dossier, like, it's crazy. So there they are, you guys. <laughs> That's my little dossier collection. And this is just mine. Babe has like six of them <laughs> of his own. I've had several that I've given away that I just maybe didn't mesh with the scents like long ago. But this is what I have so far. I have what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen of my own. And then this, y'all, if you ever see this company on Instagram, do not buy these. Do not buy these. I was supposed to send these back, but I completely forgot to actually put them in the mail. But I had bought like so many of them. I gave a lot of them away. They stink. <laughs> they stink really, really bad. Like real bad. Real, real bad. Like I do not like them whatsoever. Um, Those were the most bearable ones that I can do. And I really only like them because of the bottle. I think the bottle is really sleek and it's cute. But I do not wear those whatsoever. And I got like a lot of the same stuff over here. Uh, like I have this and then i have it also in the pen <laughs> not only do i have it a pen i have it this one is the same thing <laughs> by dossier and then i think this one is just like it too obviously i just got my valentinos and stuff over here um but yeah these are just like the different ones that i've liked so far all right y'all so it's me in my bed looking like somebody's grandmother for me. <laughs> I am about to start editing this vlog so I can post it for y'all in the morning. <sighs> it's been a good one. Um, we have not done much at all in this vlog. So my apologies, you know, but make sure you continue to tune in because like I told y'all, they're about to get a little, they're about to get a little spicy. <laughs> We're about to have a lot more dedication to this channel soon, so I'll be posting a lot more. Um, I have a trip coming up in May, but definitely go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment in the comment section below. Let me what, let me know what you would have did about those pieces that you saw on Home Goods. Would you would have just went ahead and got it, like except for a discount, went ahead and got it, and then tried to like spruce it up, or would you just left them like I did? Yeah. So definitely don't forget to leave me a comment in the description box. And if you like what you saw on today's video, go back and watch some more of my other videos. Binge watch. If you like what you see, definitely go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And thank you so much for joining the Amber Chinese fam. Mm -hmm.